Greetings, I hope that you are doing really well and practicing radical self-care. Um, in this video, what I'm going to talk about is forgiveness. Um, forgiving the narcissist, is this a necessary thing? But more importantly, self-forgiveness. Um, I know a lot of these forums, we talk about forgiveness, like, um, you know, it's really important to forgive the narcissist. Um, you know, in order for you to heal. And I think that for some people it is very important. Um, I do not believe that forgiveness means you're condoning their bad behavior. I also do not believe that it means that you are even, um, that you're even, you know, forgiving them to their face or verbally or even ever seeing them again. I believe that we can forgive them in our hearts without having any further contact with them. And I don't think that we need to do it um, artificially or in a contrived fashion to where we're, we're practicing forgiveness before we're ready. So I think it's going to come in time when you are ready. Um, the worst thing I think you can do is carry the grudge or the resentment the rest of your life so that you allow it to eat you up inside. That whole idea that, you know, um, you know, holding on to resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Um, I don't believe that that's a good idea for a lot of people to like feed a resentment and nurture it and like, oh, here's my little plant. I'm going to give you water and sunshine and nurture a resentment. Um, I, I believe that forgiveness can be very helpful to free the survivor. So, but again, I don't think you need to worry about it right now. Um, I don't think you need to try to force yourself to forgive. I think that that will come in time when you're ready um, if you need to do that for yourself. But the most important thing I wanna focus on is self-forgiveness, is learning how to forgive yourself Forgive yourself because you didn't know what you need. You don't know what you know until you know it. And that sounds silly, but like you didn't know. You did not know when you got into this relationship that you were with somebody who, you know, didn't really love you. You didn't know that you were with somebody who was, um, you know, fickle and shallow and, and not really sending their true self. You didn't know that you believed the mask because you probably had never encountered a narcissist or maybe you did when you were a child, but you didn't as an adult understand that this person, when they said that, that you were the love of their life and they'd never been so happy and you were their soulmate and all the things they say during love bombing, you didn't know that it wasn't real. Um, I also think trauma survivors are particularly susceptible to love bombing because somehow a narcissist is very easily able to hone into what we need to hear, um, what we actually should be telling ourselves. So keep that in mind when you think about the love bombing, all the wonderful things they said about you, all of the positive regard they gave you, that those are the things that you need to be giving yourself and telling yourself but we typically have like sort of a hole a hole in our hearts where we don't believe good things about ourselves so it was really nice when the narcissist was saying all these wonderful things unfortunately um, it was fake it's flattery it's false it's not real even though they were able to actually see the wonderful things about you and point them out they didn't really appreciate them because they don't really appreciate anyone other than their own ego they worship their own ego right so um, they didn't really even though they saw those things they didn't really mean it, it wasn't heartfelt um, we didn't know what we were getting into you didn't know so it's really important that you forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know now you've had a lot of education on narcissism and you probably have a much better idea you're probably no longer going to like just ignore red flags but at the time you had no idea what you were getting into you didn't know that you were getting into a relationship with you know a paper mache cutout with a false person um, you know, now you've learned a lot. So now obviously you should be watching the people's actions match their words. If they tell you they're madly in love with you, are they treating you in loving ways? If they tell you that they value integrity and honesty, are they telling the truth or are they lying? Are there signs and evidence that they may be moral relativists who use, you know, nihilism to rationalize their 
um, duplicity, right? So not that, well, I'm not going to get off on the philosophical tant, but, or rant, but, um, so it's very important that you learn to forgive yourself. And then during the discard, if you like begged for them to take you back, or if you found yourself, um, you know, denigrating yourself on some level and you feel shame around that, don't feel shame around that. You were, try to look at yourself with, with some compassion. You were just a normal human being. You had true emotions for this other person. You were probably struck out of bl the blue in terms of them, you know, being done with the relationship or discarding you because you had no idea that there was even anything wrong. That's part of how they operate the whole time. They're constantly grooming new sources of supply, you know, sort of like pedophiles do. So you didn't know you probably got hit by a Mack truck and you were just trying to like restore what you thought was a normal relationship or do what you thought was normal. And if you had emotions and you, um, you know, tried to do what you could to make the relationship work good for you, if you had emotions of anger and you acted out, I mean, I'm not condoning, you know, if you acted violently or anything like that, but I'm just suggesting that you having normal anger over being mistreated and abused and having somebody gaslight you and give you the silent treatment and not not participate in honest communication not sit down with you and try to work things out like a normal person like a healthy person like it's normal that you got angry it's normal that you were emotional and upset that is all normal so please forgive yourself for being a normal human being. It is not, if you are dealing with one of these pathological people, like you're the normal one, they are the outlier. They are the ones who operate like this in all of their relationships. And trust me, if you talk to their ex relationship partners, you're going to hear some variation, some, something very similar to what you experienced. Um, you know, if, if they cheated on you, if you talk to their exes, you're going to find out there was cheating. If they lied and gaslighted, most likely, um, they lied and gaslighted. So it's just kind of what they do. This is how they operate in all of their relationships. Um, so you didn't know. So forgive yourself. How could you have known? These are masters of deception. These people are masters of deceit. They are, they have honed their craft to a science, to a fine art. So you, if you're a normal, healthy person that just wants to fall in love and find love and have happiness and have partnership and companionship and reciprocity and decency, um, you know, there's no way you could have been prepared for this. You just couldn't have been. Now you know, which is why probably you're watching some of these videos. So now you know. So now when you see the red flags, that is your opportunity to sort of remove yourself from situations quickly, early on. As soon as you see the red flags, get out. Do not partici participate or stay in relationships where, you know, your gut is telling you that there's something deeply and profoundly off about what's happening. Or even if your gut tells you there's something not quite right, that's also good enough. Like, ah, this is not quite right. Um, there's something about them that is emotionally unavailable. That's something to really notice. You know, is the person you're with, are they authentic? Are they telling the truth? Are they sharing, you know, their, their truth or are they, you know, vague about their past relationships? Are they, um, you know, are they acting sketchy? So these are just things to notice, but, um, for sure, learn how to forgive yourself because you did the best you could with the tools that you had and you had no idea what you were getting in for. You did not know that this is a person that likes to play with people's emotions like catnip. You had no idea because normal, healthy people don't do that. We, we actually want to have a real genuine connection with another human being. We actually usually like send our authentic selves to relationships. We're not wearing a mask. We're not operating in the world as actors. We're not like Academy Award winning actors like some of these narcissists are. So I hope this video helps you. And I really, 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 really hope that you can start to forgive yourself. You didn't know what you didn't know. And you did the best you could being a normal human being who just wanted a loving relationship. Thanks so much and have a good day. Bye.